in a data center, um, you pull power in from the electrical grid and you convert it down to the voltages that are needed for all the components in the data center. And there's a lot of conversion stages in there. By minimizing those conversion stages, you can save money and save energy. Also, by making each conversion stage more efficient, um, you can save energy as well. Traditionally, one of the, the big losses is the UPS system, the uninterruptible power supply. Typically, there's a giant room of batteries. Batteries are DC voltage, and the power coming in to charge those batteries is AC, and so you need to convert the AC down to DC with a rectifier in order to charge the batteries. And then when the batteries are needed in a power event, you need to convert that back to AC with an inverter, and then the AC needs to be converted back down to DC for all the components in the data center. So you've got three conversion stages in there that are not necessary. What Google has done is put a battery on board the tray, so you're eliminating those three conversion steps. You just have DC right into the server components. In a typical server configuration, you have a server with an AC-DC power supply attached to it. By making sure that AC-DC power supply is efficient, you can save a lot of energy. Things like Energy Star labels will point you to power supplies that are 90 plus percent efficient. Google is able to save over $30 per year per server by implementing all of these features. There really are very simple, effective approaches that all of us can implement to reduce the data center energy use. And most of them are cost effective within 12 months of operation. So a lot of efficiency best practices should be adopted by just about everyone. They're applicable to small data centers or large data centers. It's simply following the five steps that we go through here to make sure that you're able to reduce your energy use.